All right, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. Today we're going to be creating a stained glass effect, so we'll be creating something just like this. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get rid of what we have here. We'll start from scratch. This is actually a request by somebody. It's actually a very straightforward uh, method and very easy to do. Now, we only really need two things for this. We need a pattern and we need a stained glass texture, which you can find all over the internet, depending on what kind of a texture you're looking for. So let's start off with our pattern. We'll open this up and we'll just go ahead and drag it out, get it where we want it, position it right there in, in the middle. And uh, first thing we're gonna do with this is we're going to duplicate this layer, Command J. And let's go ahead and rasterize them and trim them. And for the time being, let's hide the uppermost layer. We're just going to work with the bottommost layer. Now these are PNGs, so they are transparent. If you don't have a transparent one, it's pretty easy to figure out how to make a PNG. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start colorizing our image. And I'm going to get rid of this background too so we can just see the colors that we're working with. So we're going to grab the flood fill tool and we'll pick our first color, which is going to be purple, and we'll use that for the border. So since this is transparent, each section of this will fill without filling the entire image since it does have a black border. I've got that. So now let's start working on our uh, next layer. Let's go to a blue. And you can choose whatever colors you like. And what's nice about this is you can always go back and change things later because it's on a separate layer. We'll go with the green on this one for the leaves. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to shut up and speed this up. OK, so now we've colored in our the colors that we choose, that we like. The next step, we're going to bring in our glass texture. So we'll go to File and Place. And again, I found this online. You can find them anywhere. Uh, if it has any color to it, you can desaturate it first and maybe increase the contrast. But for right now, we're just going to go with this. And we'll move it and put it in place. And we'll bring it down below our color layer. So now really all we need to do to create this effect now is come up to our glass pattern layer here and change the blending mode to linear burn. OK, got that done. And now to get rid of this excess glass, what we can do is we can command click on our color layer. We can invert our pixel selection and come down to our stained glass image. We have to make sure that we do rasterize and trim that first, or else when we go to delete, it will delete the whole image rather than just the selection. So with an inverted selection, we'll go ahead and hit delete. Command D. So there we go. The whole effect right there. You can play with the uh, blending mode here. Depending on what you like, color burn is actually a little bit brighter on these colors that I chose, so we'll go with that. And then the final touch on this one is let's come up to that top black outline pattern. Now, if you look at a stained glass window, the border is not really black. It's actually made from lead. So let's come in here and let's go with a color overlay to that. And we'll change it from black to about a middle gray, somewhere around there. And then we'll go ahead and give it a bevel and emboss. And we'll come over to the emboss. And we can play around a little bit with the radius. But that's actually looking pretty good right there. So that's all there is to creating a stained glass effect. I know there's people out there that will create uh, styles. The only problem with that is as you have different size selections, the texture will size up and down, whereas this, it stays nice and uniform. So yeah, short one. If you, uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, or better yet, please subscribe to my channel so I can continue making more tutorials like this. And until next time, 
Peace. Talk to you later. Bye.